Yes, basically. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We got Andrew and Roger here, the Energizer Bunny, going off on uh, C2, going in five, four, three, two, one. Oh, come on. This is a rocket I've been working on for a couple of months. Its name is Energizer. It's a 40 inch, 41 inch tall rocket with a 29 millimeter motor mount. The rocket has 3D printed fins attached to the motor mount and a 3D printed nose cone. The rocket is designed to perform well with both high power and low power motors. The rocket is also going to be my L1 certification rocket. This rocket is also going to fly for a lot of different projects moving on, like a two-stage rocket that I'm planning on sending to two miles. At the moment, I'm planning to fly the rocket with an I-205 motor for the first stage and maybe an H motor for the second stage. Moving on to the construction of this rocket, I use two three-inch Moving on to the construction of this rocket, I use two three-inch cardboard body tubes a lot like this. For the motor mount, I used a 29 millimeter mount with a 3D printed retainer with a whopping 30 feet of Kevlar shock cord attached to it. The nose to the nose cone and the parachute. <clears throat> Moving on to the nose cone, I used a 12 inch long body tube to house the electronics. This is longer than it needs to be, but it's a good idea so I can use it for multiple projects. <clears throat> At the bottom of the nose cone, we have a quick link that attaches to the shock cord. As you can see, everything is falling out and it's also attached to a parachute bag. First flight, I flew it on an Aerotech G78 motor. Apogee was 1,151 feet. Unfortunately, I made a really stupid mistake of forgetting to take the rubber band off the parachute. So, you know how it goes. Uh, when you do that, the parachute doesn't open and you become sad. Oh, come on, parachute. For the second flight, take two of getting the parachute out, I flew it on another G motor. And what do you know, the parachute ripped itself to shreds. So, anyways, Apogee was 1,412 feet. FYI, FYI, the rocket sustained no damage on any of these flights. I believe that is because the tangled up mess of shock cord and stuff like that uh, caused it to kind of act like a streamer and slow itself down when it's come down. So the rocket is completely fine. Here we go. Perfect. That pretty much wraps up video one of the Energizer rocket. In the next video, I'll talk about some improved design changes that I'm going to make to it. Anyways, see you in the next video, everybody.